You know just as well as we do, billionaires can afford pretty much anything on earth, even islands. But there is one specific Caribbean island they like to go to that is way better than any other. Do you want to know which one it is? Mystique is the ultimate getaway destination. This private slice of heaven is owned by the Mustique Company, a private limited company with 104 shareholder homeowners. This 1,400 acre private island has a mysterious vibe because it isn't easy to reach. Located somewhere between St. Vincent and the Grenadines, there are no direct flights from the US or Europe. So who exactly gets to go there and why? Today, we are going to tell you about Mystique's beautiful beaches, luxurious villas, and who gets to enjoy them. Watch till the end. Who gets to go to this magical island? Funnily enough, Mystique Island is open to anyone who wants to visit. It might be exclusive, but if you can afford to rent a villa, then you are welcome. But note, even millionaires would feel out of their depth here. Only billionaires can stay in Mystique with ease because this island is so expensive. There are around 120 private villas on Mystique, and the Cotton House is the only hotel. It has 17 rooms, 3 restaurants, and a spa. Cotton House provides activities like snorkeling, scuba diving, kayaking, sailing, and fishing. Mystique has become a famous destination for successful entrepreneurs, A-list celebrities, and top executives. Some of the island's regulars include fashion designer Tommy Hilfiger. He owns Palm Beach Villa. Other rich visitors and villa owners include Bill Gates, Tom Ford, Brian Adams, Mick Jagger, the Beckhams, and before his death, David Bowie. Most of the island's visitors are from the UK, but more and more Americans and Canadians are starting to come here. Other celebrities who have enjoyed vacations on Mystique include Johnny Depp, Kate Moss, Noel Gallagher, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, a very select and very rich few. In 2019, these wealthy guests celebrated Prince George's sixth birthday at the Villa Antilles. They paid between $25,000 and $35,000 each per week on rent. Technically, everyone is allowed to visit Mystique, but the island's guests aren't very hospitable. Rich and exclusive describes them best. So how did Mystique Island become popular? The island's first owner is Colin Tennant, Lord Glenconner. In 1958, he bought this island for $128,000. He and his wife used Mystique as a place to spend their winters, rather than their ice-cold estate back in Scotland. In the 1950s, there was no running water, jetty or landing strip. Tennant's idea was to plant cotton on the island, but then he changed his mind. In 1960, he gave Princess Margaret, Queen Elizabeth's younger sister, a plot of land as a wedding gift. She built herself a villa. Le Jolio. With seven bedrooms, pools, and modern European and traditional Caribbean design features. Since she passed away, her home is rented out for a princely sum of $28,000 to $47,500 per week. If you can afford it, great. If you can't, well, we can understand that too. This famous island is an exclusive luxury holiday destination. It is the playground of the rich and famous. The Villas. Can you imagine what the villas in Mystique must look like? Well, some of them are even themed, designed by world-renowned architects and interior designers. Every one of these gorgeous villas has housekeepers, chefs, and butlers. Oceanus is a four-bedroom Moorish palace with colorful columns and a white and blue color scheme, indoor gardens, and water features. This beautiful villa is complemented by palm trees and an array of flora, including jasmine, lady of the night, and feather grass. Their favorite menu is Moroccan food. Beat that! The rent can cost you between $22,000 and $54,000 per week. The Yemenya Villa has a mixed theme of Mexican and Brazilian. There is a traditional palapa or a traditional thatched roof shelter. It has swimming pools, a sun deck, and three dining rooms. Yes, three of them. There is a barbecue pizza oven and a live-in chef. There are a total of eight bedrooms that go for a weekly rate of $35,000 during off-season. During peak season, it's around $82,500. Opium is another fantastic property in Mystique. It has an African and Asian feel to it. There are seven safari-themed bedrooms and panoramic views of the Atlantic Ocean. There is an open-air living room and a dining room that opens up to the pool area. There's also a full gym, a yoga studio, and sun tanning decks attached to the bedrooms. 
the weekly rate is between $31,000 and $75,000. Stunning beaches and nature. The cerulean water and untouched lush landscape are the two things that make Mystique stand out. It is a three mile stretch of paradise. That might sound tiny, but every centimetre of Mystique is just perfect. The best beaches include Lagoon Beach, Macaroni Beach and Princess Margaret Beach. Princess Margaret Beach gets its name from Princess Margaret. She used to come here with her lovers to escape royal life. It makes sense why she came here. This beach is perfect for swimming, sunbathing and enjoying water activities. Lagoon Beach and Macaroni Beach are the ideal places to have group picnics in dedicated huts on the sand. Picnics are a tradition in Mystique Island. You get views of either the Atlantic Ocean or the Caribbean Sea. Take your choice of heaven, ocean or sea. The activities on tap. Mystique Island is anything but boring. The Mystique Tennis Club is extremely popular. It is a social hub with six courts. Visitors can take complimentary tennis lessons from the resident coach. Every day there are dropping games. During peak season there are tournaments and tennis camps. Anyone for tennis? There is also an equestrian centre. You can ride a horse along the island's hills or have lessons for children and adults. You can go on a hike, get lost and stumble upon a remote beach that belongs just to you. There aren't any street signs either. Luckily the island is small, so you'll find your way back. No one gets lost here, I promise. Even though the rich and famous come here, Mystique is not the place where they come to flaunt their riches and brag about themselves. People just want to unwind or dance where no one can see them. Here, phones and cameras are switched off and privacy reigns supreme. Most of the time, guests drive around in open-air vehicles called mules. They enjoy a gentle refreshing dip in the Caribbean Sea and head off to the beach bar to sip cocktails in peace. Every day there's a game of scratch volleyball in Macaroni Beach. You can scuba dive or snorkel there. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Basil's Bar Basil's Bar has been a main meeting point for guests, boaters and locals for nearly 50 years. The bar overlooks Britannia Bay and is perfect for lunch, dinner and drinks at sunset. It also hosts weekly events, such as Wednesday night's Jump Up that stars local bands and DJs. Tequila Thursdays are just as much fun. David Bowie used to be a regular here. You might even meet his ghost here. In 1992, Bowie said this in an interview. My ambition is to make music so incredibly uncompromised that I will have absolutely no audience left whatsoever, and then I'll be able to spend the entire year on the island of Mystique. Bill Gates is also a regular at Basil's Bar. He comes back every year for a holiday in Mystique and he never forgets to sit down and have a drink at Basil's. It sounds strange that the mind behind Microsoft loves to switch off all his electronic devices, doesn't it? But it's true. He makes sure he just reads and relaxes here. Bill Gates spends two weeks every year on vacation and most of the time it's in Mystique. He simply loves all the restaurants and everything the island has to offer. His regular meals are chicken salads, tacos and pasta. He isn't too picky. Bill Gates is a laid back guy and easy to cook for. So when is the best time to visit? December through April are the busiest times of year. That's because visitors from the US and Europe want to escape colder weather. Most of the Caribbean islands have much warmer temperatures. From July to October, Mystique is much quieter. September to October is also hurricane season for the Caribbean. Its celebrated guests enjoy coming here at Christmas, New Year's Eve and Easter. During those times, the island has child-friendly parades. There are even dress-up parties for guests. Lastly, how do you get there? There are a few ways to get to Mystique, but flying directly isn't an option. You can, however, fly to St. Lucia and Barbados. Then you can arrange a one-hour hopper flight on one of the island's 18-seater twin auto aircraft. There are daily flights to Mystique. The more expensive option is to take a private flight from St. Vincent. This will only take seven minutes. You could also do a catamaran sail that takes only an hour. See you there then!